Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great <sighs> life. Because over here, we're having a great life, aren't we not? Yep, and this is our first Chicago song. Chicago. On the, it's our first Chicago, Chicago song, song on the channel. Dang. And so I have a small history with this band because my mom loves her 80s love songs, dude. Okay. So I've heard at least like six to seven of their love songs. Wait, really? Oh, dude, 100%. Huh. I've heard like, like, will, like, will You Still Love Me? Like... Uh, hard to say. I'm sorry. All, they have all kinds of great love song bangers. I didn't even know they did like rock music. Like I, really? I was under the impression they like just did like they were like a love song band because I grew up only hearing the huh. love songs. Okay. But I have heard on the street that they can rock out. All right. So we're about to find out. But before we find out, make sure you hit that subscribe bell, notification bell. Stay up to tune with us for this band that does bangers and also love songs. Let's do it. Oh. That shit, we need we need to roll that back. Oh that needs, my god, that needs to to restart. I need to get re reset in that mood. Not what I was expecting. Okay.
expecting anything okay, like that i have so much to comment dude i don't know what you're feeling very good okay so for one did you notice there were two drummers are there two drummers in that yep they okay. had a set they might not have two drummers live if you listen to the track what, what i caught first was i was hearing a crash cymbal so like a ch -ch -ch -ch, and on the yeah. side i was hearing, hearing the bell of a ride ding, ding like a higher yeah. pitch bell of a ride you and then i realized you basically can't do all that shit at the same time you, there's no way uh right. well i mean the way, what he's playing, he wouldn't be doing all that. Okay. But then I noticed that all of his fills, like if you listen again, tuck to the right side for anybody that's listening with headphones, which you should be, because that's the way to do this. You're, you're part of the group, you're part of the squad, we gotta make headphones, sure we get this headphones. right. Um, so the right so, side of the mix. Right side of the mix, there is somebody playing totally different stuff. There Now they link up every once in a while, but a lot of times, especially when he's filling, he's going, like, one drummer's playing the groove, the other one's going, bah, 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 bah. it's probably just him on a separate take. Okay. The What... What it did, at least for me, what it did for the song, is it added a huge bombastic sort of chaos to everything. Yeah. And even when it's just doing a simple groove, like it's it's having this like chaotic tension off to the side and making it feel even more bombastic. Um, and it also, at least for me, what it came across, like if I'm thinking of like what might, they might have been thinking as like writers, yeah, is like the big band feel with all those horns and stuff. Also, maybe getting some of that across by having more percussion in there yeah. and making it feel even more big band, more swingy. More... What, what are influences involved? It was so cool. Was very cool. I, I thought it was incredibly unique in the way that they interpreted the yeah. percussion that elements it's, of that. So it's so crazy hearing this band play in a different light. Yeah, I, I I've, heard been, heard I've been hearing this band like play like love songs since I was literally like. Yeah. Like first memories at like four years old. Like, really, this this band huh. like singing like those songs. So it's so crazy to hear them employing their like talent in a different direction. Yeah, because in the love songs, like usually at least from what I like recognize, a lot of it is um most of like like a soundscape. Like yeah, th it's not too like sharp. It's almost like you're floating on, on like a cloud through the song. Yeah, this is very sharp. And um yeah, the the guitar tone in this was uh, crazy because it was so creamy and thick at the beginning. Dude, that like, was the other thing I wanted to say. So good to me. It was a cross, and I, I I have to think they did this purposefully. It was in between um, the the tone of the brass instruments and his own voice. Yeah. And the times that he would scream sometimes right as the solo was starting or yeah. when they're you know back and forth like that mimicking thing. Yeah. It would almost sound like it blends into one another. And it meant it, to me it felt like it, it was trying to, to blend the voice with the horns. Right. And I thought it was so beautifully done. Like, the choice for tone. Like a middleman. Yeah, was probably sat there all day being like, okay, what's the best way that I can make the voice seem like it's going into the guitar and the guitar seem like it's going into the horns? Yeah. It was done so well. The vocals, too. A killer. The thing killer. is, the dude knew how to sing. Yeah. Like, yep. the, the range, the yeah. tone, the sustain. Like, it was great. Literally all of it. And you could, you could feel the passion, too. Like, mm -hmm. just... I have package. to think, lyrically, the idea of 25 or 6 to 4, I mean, what it comes across is like, I don't know if this is what it is at all. We'll have to look into it. Maybe we'll do a lyric analysis of it. Yeah. Um, twenty five. I'm I'm thinking like jail time. Right. And six to four like a work day. Right. So it's like jail time or work. Like which is worse? Maybe. Like the I, I don't know. For sure they will let us know because they know they've yeah. known for years, dude. 100%. So yeah, this is this was impeccable. I'm trying to think of what to rate it, dude. Um, it, I don't think it's something I would play like every day. Yeah. Obviously, but like, but when it does come on, it's a banger. You know what I mean? So like. I want to say a 9.8. 9.8? And I don't know what would have made it a 10. It's a it's a phenomenal song. I don't I don't have any I don't have any criticisms of it. I'm gonna give it a 9.9 .9 only because like that nostalgia definitely adds that that yeah. point one factor. Yeah, I'm trying to think of why I wouldn't give it a 10. I really don't have a reason. It just maybe is my personal preference, like the enjoyment that I got out of it. Yeah, but 9.8 is definitely still like up there. Right. It's just I mean, like, I, it's so hard to explain like a point two deficit. Of yeah, 10. usually, I mean, for people that know on the channel, when I hear a song that I love, I try to um, 
I try to find something maybe negative that could have been a little better on it. Like how could it have maybe yeah, been a little you, in terms more of like perfect? your preference. Yeah. Yeah. And if it's if it's a song that I'm not too super into, I try to find something that yeah. is really redeemable in it. This is one that I thought was amazing and I still can't really find anything wrong with yeah. it. Anything above a nine, dude, that's top tier song. It's a top tier song. It's phenomenal. Just, um, yeah, so let us know what you rate it. Uh, do they have any other like crazy like rock slash like big yeah. band jazzy like bluesy like bangers because that's that's crazy dude yeah i'd be definitely down to hear more of like that type of style sure. from them sure so, so that's it oh good song let us know what's next yep see you guys there